Hello everybody, welcome to Mark's Remarks. Today I'm going to be doing something I don't think I've cooked before, a roast beef topside in the oven. I think I've cooked with beef before, but never a roast. Anyway, this is from Iceland, easy carve, beef topside, roasted joint, serves three or four. Now I'm gonna cook this today with some potatoes and some usual veg, and, um, and then hopefully make some sandwiches with it tomorrow. I've got the oven already heating up. I'm gonna, you can either cook this from defrosted or cook it from frozen. Cook it from frozen today. Preheat <coughs> oven uh, 180 on the fan, which is what I've got, or gas mark six. Remove packaging, right, this is gonna take two hours to cook. There we go, so we take, um, take oh, these plastic tops never come off easy. take the rest of that plastic off. There we are. It's a fair sized chunk of meat. Not enough for three or four like it says on the on the box but um, you know it's a fair chunk. Anyway it's got some string around it so that'll be taken off after cooking. Let's see right I'll cook it like that and then uh, put me, uh, I'll put it in the oven for an hour and a half and then I'll put some potatoes in put it back in for another 30 minutes. There we are. Middle of the oven. Come back an hour and a half. Okay, it's half an hour in, and I forgot to uh, put the foil on the roast. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Just put lo loosely put the foil over the uh, beef joint. There you go, it's been in for half an hour, so it's got another hour to go until the potatoes go in, and then a further half an hour. Another hour. Okay, it's been an hour and a half. You'll take it out, add the potatoes, and put it in for another 30. Okay, I've decided to take the string off. And then, uh, before I put it back in the oven for the, for the last half an hour. Okay, I think I've got it all. Yeah, there you go, it's looking pretty good. Alright, there's lots of... Uh, there's just stripes on there, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so I've taken the string off, I'm going to add the potatoes. There's another 30 minutes. Okay. There we go, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That ought to do that with the potatoes. Back in the oven for 30. And now I'm going to work on uh, a selection of vegetables. Okay, I'm going to go with some uh, broccoli. Right, it's two big bits stuck together here, so I'll use those. Uh, four, six Brussels, uh, six Brussels sprouts. Okay, a bit of cauliflower. Some uh, some of the mixed veg. This has got a bit of. This has got peas. Bit of carrots in there. There you go. And uh, a bit of sweet corn. And that ought to do it. Okay, the joint is cooked. I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually, I just sharpened the knife, and it is very easy to cut this meat. I'm going to cut it into sort of thin slices. There you go. I don't want the slices too thick. Yeah, tell you, this is cooked very nicely. It's dark in the middle. There's no uh, no pink. There we go. It's very nice. One more, one more slice, I think, and that ought to do that. Okay, roast potatoes. Just pour them in. Uh, 
and then the slices of roast beef. I'm going to save the rest of this for another another dish. Okay, let's see what it tastes like. Okay, in a moment uh, the the gravy will be the water for the gravy will be done. I use the vegetables the, the, from the water from the vegetables as usual. Mm. Potatoes are good. Let's try a little bit of this roast beef. It's the first time I think I've ever cooked a, a joint of roast beef. I've done beef chunks for casseroles and stir fries and whatnot. Mm. Very nice. Yeah, it's good having it uh, cut, you know, thin. So you don't have real big, chunky slices. Right, let's find a bit of broccoli there. This is good. It's always good to have a, a good selection of vegetables in here, which I, you know, oh, regulars will know that I try to put veg in almost all my meals whenever possible, even if it's just a, a few bits, you know. Like the stir fries, you know, put a bit of sweet corn in there, put a bit of peas in there or something, just anything. Hmm. Tell you what though, this is actually one of the easier meats as well, because you don't have to go in and uh, turn it over, you don't have to watch it, just put it in for for two hours, and basically you can just put it in there and leave it, you know. I had to go in every now and again to, to you know, put the foil on, I forgot to put it on in the uh, beginning. But other than that, you just cook it for you know, like a hundred and something, 180 for two hours. Mm. Oh boy, it's hot. It's gotta be even better when the, uh, when I get the gravy going. There they are, the water's done. I've added a bunch of gra uh, gravy granules. To the water, and that'll uh, that'll heat things up a little bit and add a bit of moisture to the dinner. Mm. Yeah, the gravy is good. You know, and yeah, I mean, as you saw, it's one of the very one of the. It's a very easy dinner to cook. Hopefully, I showed just how easy it was. Very little preparation. Just cook it from frozen, take it out of the freezer. You don't have to wait till it defrosts or nothing. You know, other meats you can't, uh, other meats you have to defrost and a bit more involved. Yeah. There you go. And this uh, this other piece of meat as well. You've got enough for another roast dinner. Or, uh, You know, sandwiches, Ooh. chop it up, put it into a stir fry, or uh... actually, that's not a bad idea. I could make a stir fry out of some of it. You know, I'm gonna have to dream up something to do with the rest of that. Maybe sandwiches, maybe stir fry. Both would be good. Gravy on my t shirt. Uh, yeah, because what I try and do, every joint of meat I, I get, make at least two, possibly three dinners out of it, you know? I mean, while it, while it, it's not it's not big enough to uh, serve three or four people, in my opinion, like it says on the packet here, it's definitely good for, it's, it's too much for one dinner, and not enough for three or four, you know, so, or, you know, roast dinner sized dinners. But uh, yeah, I make one a roast, make a roast dinner, and two smaller dinners. And there. There you have it. How to do a roast 
pop solid. I'll put a couple of videos in the corner here. Maybe you could have a look at those if they interest you. And thank you very much for watching.